What Jimmy didn't know was that Ralph was sick, a sickness that was not visible like smallpox, but no less dangerous and contagious, a sickness of the mind. You see, Ralph was a homosexual. He probably never realized until too late that he was riding in the shadow of death. To my understanding, uh, homophobia has existed at d different levels of uh, aggressiveness on Vitz campus. Uh, and I think it's fairly recently that it's become a lot more vocalized, but it's, it has been happening. Uh, and it's primarily been happening in men's race. And I think there's a reason for that. It, it can't be simply about religion and culture. The Fufazilla, the official campus news publication, reported an unnamed student's claims of homophobia on campus, especially within the men's residences. And um, uh, what Activate is doing about homophobia right now, it's mainly about creating a safe space for the LGBTQIA people at FITS. Firstly, the, there's the idea of the poster campaign, where we put up posters to create awareness, so that ignorance doesn't create uh, you know, too much heteronormativity as an environment. And then uh, we've been approached by the Vitz Transformation Department. And I went to uh, sort of a conference with them, and they are really keen on helping out in other ways, like getting speakers there. Every time I'm there, we get knocks on the door, people shouting and, and screaming and swearing. But nothing has ever happened to me in direct contact with these people, so I don't know who they are. As soon as I enter that place, I, I, I'm just shitting myself on, oh my God, hopefully they don't start calling me names. And I'm just, I just be scared like that they'll say funny things and I choose where I go. I, I, I normally don't like going to Nokendo and the other one, EOH, I, I, I just, I can't. I've, I've heard of stereotypes, like um, you find that uh, homophobia is usually affiliated to some rice in Park Town called EOH. Uh, that's where most of the people think, say, or allege that um, you know there's a lot of gays in your age, for example. Uh, but it's mainly informed by uninformed speculations. Uh, there's not necessarily a problem, except in private or personal, intimate spaces. So, for example, sharing bathroom. Uh, then they get the kind of verbal backlash. Uh, and I think that speaks a lot to the kinds of uh, male identified identif identifications that you see happening around the male residences. So there's definitely a little, a little bit of threat there, uh, a little bit of fear. I have had an encounter with this person, um, I think it was at the shower or something. I was actually walking out and he was walking in and I, and I I'd swear he said something. But I've never seen or, or, or heard from him since. Um, well, I was, on, I was from a night out with my friend. We bumped into these two guys and they wanted to, to join us. Like we can continue the party in Tawang's room. Eventually, I decided to go to like the bathroom, and on my way to the bathroom, they they pretended like they were gonna go upstairs to their room. So now, as I'm on my way to the bathroom, they they, they came now after me. They grabbed me, started hitting me against the wall, like changing with one another. Like they they were like hitting me and like all sorts of things and. They, wanted, they were just actually trying to like um, take me upstairs to their room and the other one was saying they would want to rape me or whatever and by the end of it I would have changed, you know, I'll become a man. Uh, as to my mind a lot of heterosexual men who uh, at some point in their life do engage in same-sex interactions would prefer to take a particular role that is identified as active and not passive uh, and, and that speaks a lot to not wanting to be feminized uh, whether by a, a gay partner or by a heterosexual individual, but it's, it's that sh staring away from being feminized that also speaks to a lot of the aggression as well. Yeah, I feel that there's like so much hostility.
because now I I have to think of which rest do I go do do I go to you know because for me to go to Nokendo is a mission and a half and I'm I'm very feminine and they very masculine and you know so I I, I you get to feel that and you, you become so uncomfortable every time I, I go to those places, especially boys like men's race as well I, I become very uncomfortable because I'm 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 being looked at as the other person as opposed to just a person what's the issue but I was more likely to fall into stereotypes I was more likely to to be controlled by the stereotypes that I was subjected to immediately when I came into campus or oh, there are this type of gay people who, you know the, the the process of othering which okay so ask them straight gay uh, you know binary oppositions which are usually created uh, amongst the student population um, well, I suppose it also have to look a little bit at the student makeup uh, in, in terms of uh, faculty. Uh, and, and to my mind, there's a lot more diversity that you would find on East Campus. Uh, and I think that has quite a bit of influence. Uh, West Campus, the, there's not a stronger diversity. Uh, and you find that usually there's a lot more religious oriented forms of, of student groupings and, and and kinds of interactions as well. Yeah, no, I'm Christian, yeah, and those things, no, it doesn't work out for me. No. It's not a plan. Culturally, it's, it's wrong, and even religiously, it's, it's forbidden against, it's against our religion. It's me, but I believe that anybody can do what he wants, basically. I'm, it's fun with me, great choice. No, no, religion and culture don't influence my, my take on homophobia. I think that people, just like everyone else, they deserve to express their sexuality. Yeah. A lot of traditionalists, you know, or you know, self-proclaimed tra traditionalists, who who seem to be openly against, for example, gays or lesbians. Uh, but who are they representing? I'm not really sure. Uh, that that's just the mentality they have. When 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 you grow up at a at a rural place, like. Limpopo, it's just, I, I think, um, even, I think people are more ignorant also on, on that fact. That's why they, they become, they, they, they hateful and they just want to punish and be violent. It's just, it's just one of those things that, you know what, if you're gay anyway, you'll get those comments. There's nothing that has been so extreme, like a, an actual physical attack at the race uh, since I've been staying there. Because today I wouldn't really care, in fact I'd welcome him with open hands because I don't think people choose to be gay. Uh. And in the, for organisations like Activate, there's very little, I think, more, more different stuff that we can do other than creating a safe space and also just advertising and creating awareness that, that this exists and it's, it's not going to disappear just because people are homophobic. The decision is always yours, and your whole future may depend on making the right one. One never knows when the homosexual is about. He may appear normal, and it may be too late when you discover he is mentally ill. So keep with your group, and don't go off alone with strangers unless you have the permission of your parent or teacher.